Hi guys, I hope everybody is well. Long time no chat. You're gonna have to excuse the state of me once again. I had actually done my hair the other day, I had done my face, and I had planned on doing a bit of an update vlog for you guys then. But of course, life got in the way. We ended up having to rush Lincoln back over to the hospital. Sorry. Um, we ended up having to rush Lincoln back over to the hospital. He decided to play hide and seek with a 20 cent coin um, and thought a good place to hide it would be in his mouth. And he ended up swallowing it. Um, so I called the nurse's line just to ask him about it and ask whether, you know, that might just pass by itself. They were worried it may cause an obstruction. Um, so 1.6 centimeters, they sort of aren't too concerned. So if he had swallowed a 10 cent coin, we wouldn't have had to worry so much. Um, but because it was a 20 cent coin, he had to go and be checked urgently. Um, so Brendan rushed him over there. He had an x-ray done and thankfully it had already passed down into his stomach. So if it was still stuck up here somewhere, then they would have had to operate to remove it. Thankfully it had passed into his tummy. So now we're just playing the waiting game, hoping it passes through. Um, he has been to the bathroom twice since then. So we don't know if it's come out or not, um, but so far there's no signs of any obstruction. Um, so we're just watching out for obviously vomiting, uh, pain in his tummy, swelling, anything like that. And so far, so good. But I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged in about a week now. Honestly, lockdown was really getting to me, it is still getting to me. So we are currently in New Zealand in a level three right now. So still very much lockdown um but brendan's been able to return to work um but we're still in the process and we're still in the process of emptying out our old house so brendan's actually been out there the last couple of days doing that um, and getting our machines ready to go back to work again so it's just been me and oh, me and the four the four kids so it's been hard, definitely. Really struggling with the schoolwork side of things. And yeah, just trying to, <laughs> trying to keep on keeping on. The bags under my eyes are huge. I did read, I've read quite a few things actually saying that the lockdown is actually causing a lot of people to lose sleep. Um, so that along with a child that still wakes up a few times a night and Grayson's actually been waking up too and coming into our bed for the last couple of nights. It's not helping <laughs> at all. But today Brendan is back out. I think today he's actually doing some work on the machines um, and cleaning up the old house. So it's just me with the kids and my plan today is to try and get a bit more of the garage sorted. Um, so we sorted it out, but obviously as Brendan's bringing new stuff back from the old house, we have nowhere to put it. So it's going into the garage. So my mission today is going to be to sort out parts of that along with looking after the kidlets. far at all <laughs> um, I got a few bits and pieces done as you can see but majority of the stuff out here is actually stuff for Brendan's garage so all this and I don't really want to touch it because I don't know where to put it and I don't want to start putting his stuff in places where he won't be able to find it so I think I'm gonna leave the garage here and maybe we can come out here tonight once the kids have gone to bed or he can do it or I don't know, but for right now, 
I'm not going to go any further. I've just done my third load of washing, hung that out, hoping like anything it is not going to rain. Yesterday it didn't look like it was going to rain and then out of nowhere it started pelting down. So Brendan said it's not going to rain today, taking his word for it because I have three or four loads of washing hung out. <laughs> like It needs to dry. I've also been getting a lot more questions about if we've gone any further with the house. So we have, obviously, because we've picked up a lot more of our furniture from um, the old house and we've managed to score some really good deals too off um, the Facebook Marketplace. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple more of the rooms that are either finished or almost finished. Oh my... Remember if I actually showed you guys um, the lounge, but not much has changed in here. I just changed a few of the pictures around. I did have one hanging here, but it's currently... <laughs> On the ground because it fell off so i need to sort that out um but not much really changed out here except we moved the shelf into here child um that was over here and we just sort of moved a few things around because we got our new dining suite so we need to make some space for it um and this here we've decided we were originally going to make this an office but we've actually decided to make it a second lounge slash playroom um, so we managed to get a really good deal on a couch. So we're just waiting on that to arrive, hopefully in the next couple of days. And that's just gonna go here. Um, and this will sort of be the kids play area slash a second lounge for us. So if we have friends over, we can close off these doors and the kids can enjoy the lounge and we can sort of sit in here and chill out. But then we also got our beautiful dining table. I am so happy with this. It was such a score. We got it off Marketplace for $200, but we managed to sell our old table. So we technically only paid $100 for this and it is beautiful, I love it. So our dining area is all but complete. Our bar stills arrived. Love it. We also had our new duvet arrive finally. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, I really like it, but I'm not sure if it's exactly what I was wanting. But for now, it will do, and it was on sale, so I'll live with it. I'm sorry today's vlog has not been very exciting, but it was more just an update for you guys because I've had a few messages just asking <laughs> what's going on and if there's going to be any more vlogs going up. Um, so yes, yes, there will be. Um, just been really struggling with lockdown. My mental health has been struggling a bit, um, as I'm sure so many others are. So just really been trying to concentrate on just being with the kids and concentrating on myself. Um, but I want to say a massive, massive thank you to all of your beautiful comments, your supportive messages, all of the love on the birth story, our first birth story, Braxton's birth story. If you haven't watched it, go watch it and let me know what you think. Um, it was a really hard one to make. It really was. Um, Braxton's birth story out of all of my children is probably the hardest one. So I am glad it was first. But yeah, it was really difficult. There was a lot of tears and heavy breathing and emotion that I did take out of it. Which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but... For me personally, I just, I wanted to be able to watch it and not bawl my eyes out every time. So I did take a lot of the crying out. But yeah, thank you so much for all the messages on that. That was really, really beautiful. I am working on the second birth story today. So I'm going to start filming that today. Um, and that's Lincoln's one. So he was a really large baby. So he's he was bigger than Braxton, so stay tuned for that one. Um, otherwise, I'm going to leave the vlog here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, like I said. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all staying safe and sane, I think, is the main one at the moment. Hopefully, lockdown isn't for too much longer. But I am going to leave today's vlog here so I can start filming lincoln's birth story for you all so thank you so much for watching our vlog please subscribe and leave a thumbs up and i will see you next time in our next vlog bye guys